Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is out in 42 days. Not that I'm counting down each and every single day. We had a new mini featurette hit the YouTube last night. It's called The Last Adventure. If you've seen any of my other trailer reactions for Dial of Destiny, you know I am all in on this. I don't need any further convincing. The hat might have already given that away anyway, although the hat is too big. I've just got to go with it. I have the biggest head ever. It's a sniper's dream and I can never find a hat to fit. I buy this online and I buy it too big. I've just got to go with it. I've just got to go with it. It costs too much. I'm just going to go with it. Let's ride this out. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. I'm very keen to see this. The film debuted at the Cannes Film Festival last night. Overwhelmingly positive responses from what I've read online. Lots of haters hating just for the sake of it. If you're going to leave any comments of that ilk, they will mysteriously disappear. Good vibes only as far as this film's concerned. We can absolutely have opposite opinions and that's absolutely fine. And if you're going to give constructive criticism about your fears of the film, that's absolutely fine. But if you're just going to start, ooh, it's woke, ooh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, blah, 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 then uh, just read between the lines. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, positive vibes only. Leave a like on this video. That's very positive. Let's do this. The last adventure, behind the scenes look, coming right up. We love Indiana Jones because we love movies. I love Indiana Jones. The joy of those adventures. We love the cause and effect, the tripwire of events. All these pieces fit together to make Music. the lightning in a bottle of an Indiana Jones film. But also, it just fits Harrison so like good. a glove. Preparation was not <laughs> really necessary. Harrison loves this character as much as the audience loves this character. Positive so vibes, we positive vibes. Ourselves what could be the next adventure? And in this case, it was what could be the last adventure. We come to find him in 1969. The world has changed around him. He's retiring as a professor, and he's about to stumble into an adventure. Helena! Sorry. Helena Shaw! It's filled with awe and excitement and danger, and they've completely captured that. Matt. Hmm. I felt good. And that we had made a film that the audience deserved. I feel confident that we're going to knock their socks off. I've been looking for this all my life. Is it? Hey. Give them hell, Indiana Jones. Tickets on sale Monday. <gasps> Tickets on sale Monday. Tickets bought Monday. Tickets bought Monday. Yeah, like I said, don't need any more convincing. A few new clips in there. It's often been said, but it's clearly a favourite character of Harrison Ford's. And you can tell how invested he is. And he was like, I don't want to go down that road again. Everyone's going to keep talking about it. But, you know, the age he is, there's no getting away from that. 79, I think he was when he was filming this. And yeah, he does look older, but it still feels like Indiana Jones. And it's still... <sighs> All the elements, like he said, kind of looking back at those older films, what makes an Indiana Jones film. Those clips there show it. And like I said earlier, it's just so much vitriol, you know, towards like Phoebe Waller Bridge and whatever online. And even after Can last night found this feature out online, and all the articles underneath are all just how badly it was received in Can, and people were doing this and people doing this, and this film's gonna bomb. And it's like, what are you basing that on? I mean, similar to what am I basing on that it's gonna be a hit? I can see there's a counter argument, but. Why hate just for the hate of it? And there's these big articles, these big clickbait articles that just seem to be going after it and seem to be attacking Phoebe Waller-Bridge for no fault of her own. They're thinking that the film is going to go in a certain direction and there's apparently been leaks that came out before which I think have been discounted already. I suspect it's all bollocks. It's just hates for hate's sake. And I'm taking too deep a dive already. Let's let's get back on track. Positive vibes, positive vibes. This, for me, just even that little minute and a half, whatever it was, feature it there, and what the cast and what James Mangold were saying, it ticks all the boxes from what I want from an Indiana Jones film. 
can't wait. Like I said, completely invested already, so there's no talking me out of it anyway. It looks like it's made from a place of love and a place of respect for the property, and that's exactly what I'm going to give it. What did you think? Are you looking forward to this? Let me know. Do leave those comments down below. Lots of people are excited for it. Leave those comments. Drown out the others. I'd really appreciate that. Like I said, I am all in favour of freedom of speech, but just if it's hate for hate's sake, do one. After that little attack to those people, here's the part where I say, please hit like on this video. Hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. If you are a subscriber already, thank you so much for coming on board. We're going to leave it there. Until next time, which is going to be soon, it's a busy day. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed that little feature right there. I do hope you come back soon. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.